Hello. Hello everyone, I am Sonali. In this video, I will show you how to compile programs online. You can compile the programs of C, C++, Java, C Sharp, Python, PHP online using this compiler. You can use the online compiler. Before starting with this, please subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for new videos. Let's see how to compile programs online. First, visit to google.com. Then type here online C compiler or you can just type online compiler. Then select the website online gdb.com. Click on this. See here is online gdb. Okay. Here is a different menu. Then language. See click here to check. Which language programs you can compile? C, 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 here is the option for the new file. By default, see here is the language selected is the C and uh, your program name is main.c. Okay. So, after uh, about this, here is the icon new file. This is upload file, run, debug, stop, share, save uh, and this notify and the download option. Okay. These are the different options. See, here is the different option. So, you can write the program here okay see here is the one given sample program if you don't want this then you can select and you can delete this part okay see i don't want this message so i'm deleting this okay so click on run to run this code just click on run see here is the compile program see here is the, here is the your output hello world you can scroll in this part also. Okay, see this is scrolling arrow. You can scroll up and down. Hello, work. If you want to change this line, you can write the here print f and you can do the slash n for the new line. Suppose you want to do the message like welcome, you can type welcome to C. Okay. And just do the semicolon. Click on the run again to run this okay after compilation your output will be hello world and welcome to see if you want to check if you want to write the more code you can just click and you can choose it here okay you can provide the input to this command line suppose you want to uh, add the segment like uh, suppose if a greater than b okay suppose this is your program a greater than b if a greater than b, then print f a is greater. A is greater. Okay. But you have not initialized this a and b. Let's check. Just click on a run to run. This compiler due to error or not? Yes. This has given your error. Check this error. See. A is undeclared. So it is necessary to declare the variable first a comma b. Okay, if you want to accept the values of this AMD from the user, you can accept. Okay, just click here and write here. Do the here. Print F. Enter value of. Enter values of A and B. Okay, just you can write here. And then read this value by using the scanf function. Percent D, percent D, comma, your first variable name and the your second variable name is the address of D. Then do the semicolon here. Okay. After this, click on a run to run this code. Just click on this is compiling program. Okay. So for this program, you need the values of A and B also. So do the A value of A is 3 and do the value of B is 5. Okay. See if See, our output will be C, 3 and 5. There will be no output after this because 
the second value is greater. Okay. Again, click on a run to run this code and do the first value greater than the second value. Suppose A is 32 and B is your 4. Now, let's check the output for this. See, here output will be A is greater. Okay, so you can provide the input also. You will get the output here only. If you want to write the program in other language, you can write it. Okay, you can use, suppose you want to write the program in C++, just click here and select the C++ language. And then write your code here. Okay, write the code in main.cpp only. Okay, if you are trying to create the new file and write it here, then there will be the error. Okay, so and just uh, you can uh, select and uh, delete it or copy it or you can share this. You can save this file, just click on a save and you can put a new name. And you can save this project, name of the project. If you want to um, do the name, then you can do the name and you click on a save to save this. Okay. Here you can click on a download code and you can download this uh, one code and you can save inside uh, your folder. Okay. So uh, I want to write the C++ program. So just I'm selecting this, select delete, and then you can write the next program hash in close. Just give the here IO string. No need to do the IO string dot H. Then give the semicolon and write your program. Start with the int main only. Okay, don't write the void main. Then see when you are giving the only opening bracket, it will automatically give you a closing bracket. Okay, and here my first statement is C out value. You can write the n line code here. Okay, and then write the return zero because you have to end that my data type int in. Okay, return zero, and then click on a run to run this code. In a few seconds, you will get the output here. See, this is your output value. You can debug this program. Stop in between, you can share, save it, or you can download the code. You can do the uh, code, you can just click here, and suppose you want to write the program in Java or Python or PHP, just click here and select the language and you can type the code here. Okay, so you want to write the code in the PHP, then write, write your code here. Write the code as per your requirement. I'm showing you just one example. Just click on it. Okay, to run this. If there is an error in uh, code, it will give you an error. Okay, tell me. Okay, if you are writing the C program or C program and if there is an error, this will display the error in this section. See, here is a welcome. Suppose you have not given this or something. See, here is a an error. Click on a run to run this. Okay. See, here is the PHP parse error. In that error, an expected end of a file expecting variable. Okay. This will give you the error and hint and solution also. This is about this. So, complete this and click on a run to check again. So, you can run this program. Okay. If you want to compile the program, if you want to write the program and compile the program of uh, um, Java, then just click on this select your Java or Python. Just click here and you can run this code. Just type and run. If you want to upload the file from your computer, you can upload the file. So if you want to upload the file, just click here and select your folder. Suppose I want to upload the file, this file, then you click on it, open. Okay, save this file in a um, C or a CCP in record format. Okay. So here is your uh, program, you can click on a run to run your code, let me, okay, here uh, it will use your error if the error is in a, inside your file, okay, so first select this and you can check this, okay, if you want to copy this code, you can copy in this code, you select and suppose you want to write in this file, then you can write the here, okay, I want to change this into C, okay. See, I want to compile this program using the C. See, 
uh, when you are writing the program, it is very necessary to select the language first because see in this here is the language that you see. So if you are trying to run this um, C program using the PHP, then there will be no any output. So uh, for accurate answer, select the language first. So this is a you know, program of C language, then select the C. Then again click on a, a run to run this code. If there is an error, this will be the, the error. Okay, in main function, just scroll down and you can check the uh, errors present. Okay, here will be the error. These are the different errors. Just click, see here will be the underlying this uh, wave uh, scan is telling me so. Okay, so right, do it correct, scan and okay, again click on a run. First, read and try to understand the errors. See, here is the error. Okay, just so just remove this and again click on a run. The error is removed or not? Yes. Now, error is here, not here. Okay, in this way, you can uh, write the any language program here and you can compile the program using this online compiler. Use the online gdb.com to run uh, your program. Type the program, compile, and run with the help of this. Because nowadays all are using the, all are learning the different languages, but they don't have the different software to run this language. So you can use this online compiler to run this and different language program. If you have any doubt, any query, you can write it in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you for watching.